Today we're making a lemon herb chicken. Simple and delicious. So we're starting with um, going over kind of some of the simple things that we're gonna be using, which is just very basic today. Cutting board, knife, um, zester for the lemon, um, juicer to juice your lemon, salt, pepper. Um, we have a list of our amazing uh, herbs. Olive oil, um, we're gonna finish with some fresh parsley, um, pickle juice, Dijon, and then our whisk, of course, a nice little bowl to get all those flavors together. And of course, a great um, Dutch oven, French oven. And um, we're gonna be using kind of a, either Dutch oven, frying pan, whatever you like to do your uh, caramelized onions. So let's get started. So I have here uh, two chicken breasts. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start by seasoning these. I've already seasoned the underside, just to save a little time for you all, <laughs> speed things up. Uh, I do about a tablespoon of oil to coat um, per side, and then up to the chef, <laughs> whatever you'd like the amount of salt and pepper, just enough just to kind of season is what we're looking for here. Okay, now we're gonna add our herbs. So one of the reasons that I've decided to do all these herbs is herbs have so many great healthy benefits. They're delicious and we all need to clean out the uh, spice cabinet from time to time. So we have here a little rosemary leaf. I like to use this in moderation, uh, like many things. <laughs> uh, it can get a little woody and a little heavy. So just a little tiny dash um, on each side, it's really not even enough to measure out. So just a little dash. And then I go a little heavier, um, heavy dash of our oregano. Um, all of these herbs have so many great antibacterial, um, anti-inflammatory, um, great for the immune system benefits. Okay, and notice we're just doing one side right now. Uh, then the star and of the herbs in show is our thyme. We never have enough thyme, literally. So go ahead and heavy hand, just kind of put that thyme on there. And there is no recipe for this. Just what looks right. And I always like a little more thyme. And it's, it's your own preference, too, what you like. Tarragon now is kind of like a rosemary. It's fantastic. It's known for using in a lot of seafoods. It's underused in chicken and wonderful, but it can be overused. So sparingly, just a nice little dash here. Oh, delicious. So now that we've kind of gotten all that, we're going to go ahead and flip. We've already seasoned this with oil, salt and pepper. We're just gonna go ahead and do the same to this side again, again. Light on the rosemary. I'm jumping out of order, but we are gonna be a little heavier on the thyme. Of course, oregano. And any of these two are great to use if you have fresh. Um, but like I said, I like to clean out that spice cabinet and use these up. So many great benefits. And if you are missing one or two of these, just go with what you have. Still gonna be delicious. Again, tarragon to finish. This underused, amazing spice. Okay, so these beautiful chicken breasts are seasoned, ready to go. We're gonna start with the next step. I have a bowl here. I've already put um, a nice heaping tablespoon of Dijon mustard here in the bowl. We're gonna take that and we're gonna whisk it with, I'm so excited to share this with you. This is my most favorite ingredient to use. It's already got all this great garlic, dill, what could that be? Pickle juice. So we do um, about three tablespoons of the pickle juice. Give that a stir with that Dijon 
Dijon just has great flavor. Also that little bite of vinegar in there. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of our salt and dash of pepper into here as well. Give that a little stir again. And then I have pre-juiced a little Meyer lemon juice. You can use um, lemon, Meyer lemon. Meyer lemon is just a hybrid. It's a cross between um, orange and lemon. And you get this nice, sweeter. Um, we're in the height of citrus season, so I, I've done the Meyer lemons. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I've pre-juiced this, but the equivalent of one Meyer lemon. Um, so we go ahead and just pour that in. One juiced lemon or Meyer lemon, whatever you would like. Then with these gorgeous lemon or Meyer lemon, <laughs> take this little zester here, give this a nice zest. You're just gonna quickly kind of see how I keep going around. You don't want to get the white, the pith becomes bitter. So we just keep kind of rotating that until we get one almost full peel there. Oh, it's so lovely. It's bright, it's fresh, it's got that hitness, just that little sweet scent of summer in there. Okay, then we have also, I'm gonna put into our marinade, um, I have five pieces of uh, garlic cloves. Now I wanna leave some of these whole and some of these chopped. So my biggest ones, because they're gonna be cooking, which will be these three, I put aside. Then these three, I'm gonna just do a nice little quick chop here. Easy peasy, it was raw, nothing perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add that chopped garlic right into that marinade. Give that a little, little stir there. And, and give this a scent. Oh, it's, I mean, it's divine. The lemon, that dill, the garlic, little Dijon great marinade here. So we are going to now take our Dutch oven. And if you don't have one of these, you can definitely use a baking dish, anything. I just love these. It's just such a great universal pan. Um, and what's nice about this too, is you can pre-cook your caramelized onions in here. You add a couple um, tablespoons of olive oil and on the stove top, just do half of a red, half of a white onion, which I've already pre-done, of course, um, which we're gonna add here next. <laughs> but you just do that, and it takes patience with caramelized onions. You wanna set that, let that kind of, that um, juices and the caramelization, the sugars to break down in the onions, and then give it a nice stir, then leave it alone for a while, but watch it, don't go too far. And you'll end up with this just depth of flavor. So with this here, we're gonna add just a little bit, just a touch, we don't need a lot because we've got that great marinade that's gonna go. I just wanna ensure that these uh, chicken breasts don't stick. So about a tablespoon of good olive oil. Run that around the pan. And then we are going to take this amazing chicken breast. And just, I mean, really just run it through this so you don't miss any of that. See, look at this, gorgeous, beautiful, herbaceous. Into the pan there, I mean, this is so easy. This is a recipe you can make with your kids, with anyone, it's delicious. Okay, and I just, I don't wanna lose any of that amazing flavor. And put these two down, this over here on the side, and we're done with that. So here you can see, oh, amazing. So we've got our chicken breasts in there. Now we have this great, amazing kind of marinade. This is gonna give flavor and it's gonna keep it moist. And I don't really try to go right on top of the chicken. I kind of go around the bottom because I don't want any of those amazing herbs to knock off. Now, if you remember, we still have three little lonely garlic cloves that we're gonna add. Cause I do love a nice roasted piece of garlic too on this side. If you don't, you can just dice them all, all five. So there you have it. This is 
so good, amazing. And now we're gonna add for a little more flavor and a lot of deliciousness. Easy peasy our caramelized onions, which make everything better. And again, just like that marinade, we're just gonna kind of put them kind of over the top of everything, haphazard. This I have, as I said before, half of a red and half of a white. Um, you can use anything. I just like to incorporate a little red and a little white. I find those red onions to be a little sweeter. So you take this, we're done, so easy. Take this, put this in the oven at 375. And I like to check after about 20 minutes, give it a flip if you'd like, um, and then go another 20. Uh, keeping an eye on it, give it a give it a poke, internal temperature, make sure you're at that. Enjoy.